down at ice level are the teams, and Ray Ferraro is there as well. We'll get his take on things shortly. Tonight, we bring you a matchup between two great teams. And as we approach game time, here's Eddie. I've been looking forward to this one for a while, Doc. Both of these teams have the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Goaltending, as we know, could be the difference here. Another terrific night of hockey here. I'm Mike Emmerich with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. This playoff game has started. Walleyes up the wing, setting things up. Boy, what reaction. He's got it again. Good work by Cowan. The Stingrays looking to head man up the wing. Loose puck. It went off one of the guys there. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Shoots. Save! Toledo's on the move in neutral ice. Spike down. South Carolina's leaving its own end. Pressing on with it up the wing. Got it at the point. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. He hit the post. He gains the zone. He's alone. Outstanding save. We were looking for a red light there. Surprise. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. They battle on up the wing. Let's a shot go. You could almost count that one, but no. Has it back deep. And that one went offside. And there's a shot that seemed a bit late. I would be surprised, Doc, if there's not an answer for that. And, whoa, this fight is over. Doc, he was looking for that one big punch to end it. South Carolina's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. South Carolina is in possession and moving up the wing. He's in on goal. Great save in close. The goalie makes himself look big. Took it up the boards and holds. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Not much going on now. It looks a little bit like it. He's got this one and they're after him. Oh, wonderful play. Gains the zone. Let's a shot fly. Save. Quick shot. Seeks the corner. Good hand to eye. And the reach of the stick. Back in his defensive end to get it. Wonderful block. Let's go, Arister. No! What a chance. When you're in that area, you've got to hit the net. Just a backhand. Save. Shoots one. Off his mask. Thankfully, a whistle, Doc. You could take a breath. What a save. And they needed that to take the pressure off. Just over six minutes still to be skated. Still nothing on the score sheet yet. The Stingrays continue to probe up the wing. Flop back into the opposite corner. Diagonal play here. Carried right through at center. Big chance here! Marvelous save! All those glorious moves, not enough! Whitney's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Two guys together with force. Big force. Doc, no surprise there. We expected a physical game, and we're going to get one. That early hit is just an example of what we're going to see. Toledo's got a minor penalty here for cross-checking. Every game presents a fork-in-the-road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three. Got it all! 
Goalie gave him the glove side, and he took it away. What a stop. And that's a good job taking the pressure off. That one goes back in where a goal, he won't avoid something for doing that. South Carolina's in their own end and shifting gears. Goldie to the bench, extra man over the boards on the delayed penalty. One team is going to be short from this. Let's see what the call is. Toledo's gotten a minor penalty. The call is goalie interference. Goaltender looking for the puck, trying to do his job, but he was not able to because he was knocked off his feet. South Carolina's power play gets a five on three, and it's a long one. Let's see how they perform. They win it. Let's it go. That hits somebody. That was a great job. Shot back down. More time off the clock. No team worth its name is going to let that go. Into the attacking end. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Another save. Goalie to the bench. Arm still in the air. Substitution made. That is defense. That shot came from right in front. A missed opportunity from this close in. Jenks will head to the box. The call is goalie interference. It's a minor. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. The Stingrays leave their own end. South Carolina's in possession as they travel up the wing. That one's flopped in. He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. They shot it back down. Now they can get ready for another rush. Good quick poke check there. That one's deflected. Pad save. Ooh, tough one there. He covers and holds on. Toledo's coaches have to be shaking their head as their player takes another penalty. He leads the league in penalty minutes. Several of them have put their team at a great disadvantage. Solid clean win. Near the last minute of the first. That one is pointed to him. Pass cut, strong play. Cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. One minute left. It's Even on his stick. Here. What a brilliant long pass that was. From the outside. Shoots. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Shoots. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. 28 showing on that clock. Looking from the corner. Good job with the poke check. And so now a penalty will be handed out. South Carolina's two-minute penalty is for holding. It is a rare power play that is a four against three, but that's what we have right now, and it begins. Good job on the draw. Knocked right off the stick. To Whitney. Gets in, looks over his options here. Shoots it off. First period has come to an end, and the goalies dominated this period of play. Nothing to nothing. First period has been played. Second period about to start. A look ahead. Well, first off, Doc, the goaltenders were very good. A couple of real tough saves at either end. But this might be one of the games, Doc, where the first goal definitely wins it. Not much time here at the start of the period to get a power play goal. But let's see. Ooh, he got in the way of that one. Oh, they got it out. They checked the clock and prepare to defend some more. The net has come loose, and so we will wait for another faceoff. Toledo's won that faceoff in the neutral zone. Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. Puck to the bench area, and so the clock stopped. Uh, guys love flipping a puck up in the stands when it rolls into the bench like this. 
Nice face-off work. Cleared on out by Cowan. Nicely into the zone. Loose puck did not go very well there. Fired away and back down. Goal, he'll pay for that. Worst thing can happen is a face wash. You do that, you're looking for some trouble. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? One into another. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Moved along and in. Good save there. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Quick work on the face-off. Oh, what a wonderful block that was. He's got it, but can he shovel it out of there? Yeah, shot back out. All's fine. Walleyes in their own end, continuing on. He's in on an onside play. Flings it. The Stingrays are back even. Full strength action, the penalty kill. You wait for a power play like that, and the coaches are thinking that they've got the right scheme and the right people on the ice. It looked like they threw five strangers out there that time. Puck covered, whistle blown. A little under three minutes have gone by. We are deadlocked at zero. Defensive zone win. Good work with the stick. Chooses the corner for this. And they've got it again. South Carolina's looking to head man up the wing. Carries it to the corner. On to Whitney. Good try there. Nicely received at the point. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Muscled right off. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Fires. That shot hit a man. Whitney's carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutralize. Score! Finally, we have a goal. If you want to generate offensive opportunities, you have to get inside the face-off dots. You've got to find those soft spots in the defense in order to generate and score goals like that. That's the shot there, Edzo. Low to the stick side. The goaltender can't get to it. Toledo's gotten a one-goal lead and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Toward the net. Great save, point blank. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Moving it to Gillies. Still has control up the wing. Onside. Wonderful save. And it's a good pickup. Walking a thin line near the border there. Directing that one to Cowan. South Carolina's leaving the defensive zone. Shoots. What a save. Couldn't get through there. Looking for a better lane. Good jab with the stick there. Passing one off now to Gillies. It's an onside play. Strong play, good reach. Wonderful stop. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Save! Zerzinski's offensive production stems from the fact that he's able to get away from the guy checking him for just a second to release the puck. That is a skill that people don't talk about. Some have it, some don't. Clean win on the draw. Gains the zone. 
On the outside, a shot. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. The net is dislodged, so play is stopped. A little under six minutes to be played in the second. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. He won't, and for every action, there's a reaction. When you make a play like that, usually the end result is this. Five minutes apiece for fighting. The way they went, they should have gotten tan. Before that fight, they started with a little bit more equipment on their body. It's going to be hand-delivered by their teammates. More times than not, you drop your gloves like that, you're going to spend at least five minutes in the box. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Dumped in. Makes that play deep. Puck is thrown to Gillies. Nicely into the zone. Good shooting place. Blockered away. Toledo's up the wing, controlling play now. Hammers his way up the wing at center. Snaps a wrister. And a save. Set out, and he'll make him chase it. He's got a chance. A whistle and a rest. Anderson's ability to read the play was pretty good there as he got across to make the stop on that odd man rush. Quick work on the faceoff. That hit somebody. <laughs> Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. Toledo's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Penalty Are you number listening? 12. Two minutes for tripping. Time to the penalty. Let's it go. Didn't get through. He's got it on his stick. He wants to clear it out of the zone. And they got it out of there. They must retreat and start back again. Picks it up in his own end. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Tuck that right away. Pucks loose. The roadblock got in the way. Puck held near the point. Players tired about to get a rest as we go late into the second period. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. One minute left. He Takes that pass. Period. Snapped it off. Outstanding save with a glove. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. With a shot. Pass comes to him from the crease. The Stingrays have it up the wing. Oh, here's a wrister. Terrific stop, and it's loose. And another save. Cleared back out, and so they can get to the bench for a change. And possession now on the pickup by Callum. Went to the backhand. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. That hit might rattle a few teeth. Forty minutes have been played here, and still more to go. A well-deserved rest is at hand. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our team player awards are available in the concourse in the lower seating level. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? South Carolina's coaching staff, Doc, has to be pretty pleased the way they played through the first 40 minutes of play. One area of concern has been their offense. They need to take advantage of all the time of possession and finally put the puck into the back of the net. Finally lifted back out so they can get some fresh troops out. And he steps in. Snaps a wrist shot. Save. Right to the point. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Great job of keeping that from going out. to the blue line. Big save. 
Gets it back. Lassard's refreshed after that five-minute breather he had for that fight. Now we'll see if they get back to it. Puck covered, whistle blown. Been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. Just a hair under four minutes played. It's a one-nothing game. Oh, quick off the draw. South Carolina's continuing on in their own end. Hanging on to it up the wing. There's one that can be handled by Anderson. A shot. Outstanding save with a glove. Toledo's moving it up the wing. What a strong wrist shot. Oh, what a save. Score! You want to score goals, especially off of rebounds? Go to this area. Oh, the goaltender's got to do a better job of that one, Edzo. He makes that first stop, but he leaves the rebound too close to the net where the goal scorer can grab it. And the face-off's won. Pitching it to Birschbach. Shoots. Nap by Cowan. Good job with the stick. Six minutes, three seconds. Walleye's on the move up the boards. And he drops it in deep. Puck is grabbed by Cowan. South Carolina's getting to the neutral zone. Mashed in. Has it in his own end. Toledo's lugging it through the center ice area. Breakaway! Wonderful save off a wonderful shooter. Wonderful wrist shot. Freezes play. Toledo's team leans on him for offensive production. They need him to score on the power play. They need him to score five on five. And he's delivered all season long as he's among the highest points totals in the league. Tries to get it on net. Has it picked up. Guards the point well, doesn't he? Under siege needs to be gotten out. The Stingrays wheel it up the wing. Let's it go. Oh, that was close. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Moves to the corner. March narrowly inside. Shoots one. And the change is made. The goalie's at the bench. Extra man on in this delayed call. No room for a pass. Great poke of the stick. Got that pass and can look ahead. Puck's loose, denied by the roadblock. Toledo's given a minor here for tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Oftentimes, it's not your percentage on the power play, but when you do get one, that makes the biggest difference. That might be the case right here this time. Not a hard hit, but effective. Minutes, 49 seconds. Gives it over to the point. Broke it up well with the poke check. Takes that pass and looks on. And a save. A little pass from his goalie here. Got to clear it here. Gets in. What'll he do? A shot. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. And the heat's taken off by the clear. Toledo's decision-making as of late has been perfect. That's another good play. Points it. They've vacated the goal crease so they can go with that extra man. The exchange is made. Whistle blown, play stopped. 
The referee will hand out a penalty. Toledo's minor is a cross-checking two-minute penalty. As you see clearly, the player lifts up his hands with his stick and causes separation from the player's back, cross-checking him and knocking him down. It's a five-on-three, it's a power play, and it's a chance to do some damage. That is a large win by the defensive centerman. Congratulations to him. Got it in his own end. South Carolina's setting things up at center. Gathered in by Whitney. Shoots, block that one. Puck covered, whistle blown. The Stingrays want to be an aggressive team, and this player has among the highest hit totals in the league. Sometimes I wonder if he even looks at the puck. They won that faceoff. Can they clear it? And he takes the heat off by clearing. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Knocked to a knee, lost it. Picks it up back there. And he dumps it in. This one comes into the possession of the guy who's supposed to stop all these. Snapping a pass to Chris. Shoots, got that in the trapper. That was all positioning right into his glove. What a heavy collision along the boards. He didn't let him off the hook there at all, Doc. He crushed him into the boards. South Carolina's in their own end, moving the puck. Head up as he carries it up the wing. A chance to clear. Toledo's in control of the puck through center. And he throws it in, hopes of getting it back. At this critical point, Doc, you got to make sure you have fresh bodies on the ice. That's why it's so important to get that puck in deep. Walla, his penalty kill has been terrific and well-tested, especially that time. You just can't expect to win games when you take this many penalties game after game. Their penalty killers have been outstanding, but, man, they are playing with fire. So satisfying to have delivered a hit like that. Down here, you can hear this hit throughout the ring. On a cross shot. Last minute of the play. Last minute to go in the third. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Goalie to the bench. Extra attacker out. That's a solid play, and he keeps the attack going with this. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. Maybe a little greedy here with the empty net. He went for it from his side of center. He missed, and now the faceoff will come down into his zone. The goalie has left. A skater is on. An extra one to try to get a key goal near the end. A big win. Let's see what happens. Snapped off a wrist shot. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Cleared back out so more players can spill over the boards. Nice stand-up poke check there. Oh, it's very important if he can get that out. Sent back out so finally they can get the change they were looking for. Sends to the point. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Takes a shot. Save! What control! Terrific challenge, outstanding save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. And the horn is sounded, and this one goes down into the books. The Stingrays have to be totally confused by all of this. They can't reverse the momentum of losing. 